Just half a decade after its unification, Italy felt the urge to expand its borders further. Dissatisfied with its existing African colonies of Somalia and Eritrea, Italy cast its eyes towards Ottoman Tripolitania, known today as Libya. Positioned amidst British and French possessions, Libya stood as a prime target, particularly because it was under the weakening grip of the Ottoman Empire, often referred to as the sick man of Europe. Italian nationalists passionately advocated for the annexation of Libya, seeing it as the fulfillment of their aspiration for a fourth shore for Italy. Moreover, they viewed it as a potential solution to economic challenges, a strategic asset, and a means of solidifying Italy's newfound sovereignty. Even before the conquest, some demagogues had rhetorically praised Libya and the Libyans even while denigrating them. How dignified, good and interesting is the Libyan race? Who would have the courage to disturb these primitive people in their tranquil, pastoral life? Entering one of these tents, so many thoughts of the vain glory of civilization present themselves. Historically, Italy's gaze turned toward Libya as early as the 1890 Congress of Berlin, where its interest in the region became apparent. Over the following years, through diplomatic negotiations and talks, Italy managed to persuade the British and French to allow its entry into Libya without intervention from the major European powers. From 1902, Italy pursued a policy of peaceful penetration in Tripoli, establishing economic ventures funded by Banco di Roma. They also set up schools, post offices, and encouraged Italian initiatives in the region. On September 23, 1911, the Italian ambassador in Istanbul delivered a diplomatic note to the Sublime Port, alleging that Turkish officers in Tripoli were inciting the local population against Italians, endangering Italian lives. Istanbul responded that there was no immediate threat to Italians and asserted the Ottoman Empire's capability to maintain security within its territory. With the backing of the British and French governments, an Italian ultimatum reached the Ottoman government on September 28, 1911, to be accepted within 24 hours. It stated Italy's decision to expand her authority over Libya, otherwise she threatened to use force. Consequently, Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire on September 29, 1911 marking the commencement of the Italo-Turkish War. Shortly thereafter, Italian forces initiated the invasion of Libya, with the first troops landing on Libyan shores on October 4, 1911. The Ottoman administration in Libya was ill-prepared for conflict, lacking a strong navy and facing supply shortages due to British blockades in the Mediterranean Sea. Additionally, the empire was already dealing with insurgencies in regions like Yemen, Macedonia, and Albania. As a result, Tripoli fell swiftly, just one day after the Italian invasion began. In response, the Ottomans clandestinely deployed top generals to bolster Libyan resistance, organizing local fighters, primarily 40,000 to 50,000 native Libyans. Following the capture of Tripoli, Italian forces encountered varying degrees of resistance as they advanced further into Libya. While some cities surrendered relatively easily, others offered more determined opposition. Benghazi, for instance, was captured after some resistance on November 19, 1911. The Italians, despite boasting a sizable army of approximately 100,000 soldiers, encountered mounting frustration as they became entrenched in a protracted stalemate in Libya. Both sides recognized the imperative to explore alternative means to bring an end to the war, so Italy began targeting significant maritime assets of the Ottoman Empire, including those in the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. Moreover, in the summer of 1912, Italy initiated operations against Ottoman territories in the Aegean Sea, Italy successfully occupied 12 islands in the Aegean, including the Ottoman province of Rhodes, which later became known as the Dodecanese. 
On August 13, 1912, peace negotiations commenced between Turkey and Italy while fighting persisted. The outbreak of the Balkan War and the pressing need for Turkish officers and manpower in other theatres of war forced the Sublime Port to accept Italy's terms. As a consequence, on October 18, 1912, a peace treaty known as the Treaty of Auchi was signed between Italy and the Ottoman Empire in Switzerland. According to the treaty, Tripoli was ceded to Italy with autonomous status, but Turkey was to act as the protector of the rights of the Muslims in the region. The Dodecanese islands that were taken by the Italian were to be returned to the Ottoman Empire at the conclusion of the Balkan Wars.